So the next one we want to do is transmag. So make sure we run this one with administrator. So we got 15 days. A web based system. Now what we need to do is to go to system installation we need to delete this one this is called the alias and then what we need to do is to copy here so to right click copy here and we're gonna browse to the uh, packages folder that we extracted before this video is not for it where is my package folder packages folder so copy the whole packages folder so it's 5.3 gig so it's gonna take a while one is done so what's the next one we need to do to copy the kernel so what we're gonna do is gonna right click copy here kernel right the whole folder okay so make sure so this one is system library okay it had to be in the library folder all right and make sure they have that kernel we also need inside the base system here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy here again go to the OSX install ESD that we extracted before and copy these four files and then we go to El Capitan content share support install ESD install my OSX and then install ESD again and then five install OS so now look at this we have four of these files that I'm going to copy over make sure you see these four okay it's in the OS X install ESD copy to the base to the root okay so so now our OS base system on this uh, 8 gig is done. So Clover folder is the most important one for you to boot. Go to 10.12 folder, make sure that they have the fake SMC and the uh, USB. Inject all from rehab main. Clover config file is the most important one. Most of people cannot boot is because they put the wrong thing inside there. So I have to get everything is exactly the same. The only thing I have different every time I boot on a different system is a config for the 2500K. HD 3000, that's the desktop. Can take for 4000, which is the uh, Ivy Bridge. Um, and the config for this one is for 4400. But this Clover will work with every single one of them. The only thing different is that every time you boot with a different uh, platform, you have to change the patch. So I have the patch 4000 in here. And then if you boot for 4600, you have the patch for 4600. Inside there, you need a DSDT, SSDT for the correct one. All right. So what's inside here? 
So the name here is DSCT. This is the one I patched already. That's working. So this one will give me the battery. Um, so SSDT, the original one, plus one of them is created by uh, SSDT PRJ. So what do you put in the boot? What do you have? I put DEX, KEX, DEV mode for 2.1. And audio injection is free, but you know, the Apple HDA doesn't work on this one. Now, fake ID. This is a 4400 laptop. So I use A086 412. IG platform. So this happened to be inside graphics. The key. ATI is false, Intel is true, NVIDIA is false. Um, so all I put is IG platform ID. Now this one is 0280060006. This is version 6. Make sure we patch everything except debug and has well kernel E I don't have kernel CPU kernel PM this is true so it won't reboot now catch is the patch so this airport DC this one is for dual band Wi-Fi for Sierra only, okay. And this one right here you must have for the handoff. ET 4.0. So without that, you won't have this. Uh, HDMI for El Capitan so I put it in here to get the HDMI sound to work but on Sierra I use Voodoo and I haven't tested the sound on the HDMI but the HDMI works fine you need to have RT variable so this one you have to create your own this string right here is unique from your ethernet uh, MAC address now the important thing is you have to choose the correct SM BIOS so the best SM BIOS is not correct you won't have it running correctly Alright. So, system parameters, you must have a custom UUID, and this one right here is in your BIOS. So every laptop has a unique one, so you can't uh, use it from somebody else. If you do that, then you won't have uh, a message or FaceTime working. Okay. So the important thing is that if all your config file has all of those things, you will boot correctly. I've 
Bridge HD 4000 Thanks. and this is a laptop so it's 066 IG platform ID must have 0166003 okay also uh, patch everything the Lenovo Sandy Bridge HD 3000 so, uh, for the old one we use dark equal to zero and actually you don't need this slide because the new clover will automatically add it in there the fake ID Intel GFX is 116086 so 116 is the uh, device so this one is the HD3000 okay except this one right here is 412 and IG platform ID so this one is almost the same as the uh, HD 4400 so we're gonna see Sandisk Cruiser Blade UEFI alright so 37 61 is the uh, version of this one we're gonna boot from Sierra 12 1 okay are you ready for Sierra okay <coughs> 